Ms. Zugrades, please recognize. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, para makahinga muna tayo ng konti dahil medyo hindi um, masyadong sinasagot yung mga tanong natin. Uh, if it's um, okay with the committee, if we go through some violations na lang sa prangkisa nila. Um, Sorry to. I will ask questions and um, mostly sections 10 and 11. Okay, Mr. Chair. please proceed. The Honorable Negrades. Um, to SMNI, I guess, um, Attorney Mark Valentino. Yes, I can answer that. Um, in 2005, Kingdom of Jesus GIS states that Pastor Kibuloy is the chairman and registered as a non-stock corporation, correct? Uh, I have with me the, the history of SMNI. Just asking a yes or no question. About what, Mr. Chair? Can you please rephrase the question? In 2005, Yes or no lang po, ah? Kingdom of Jesus, in your G, G, the GIS states that Pastor Kibuloy is the chairman and and the corporation is registered as a non-stock corporation, correct? Yes, Mr. Chair. Then, Mr. Chair, sometime and sometime you became a sole corporation, correct? Yes, Mr. Chair. When did you become a sole corporation? Okay. In 1999, sorry, we are talking of Suara Sug Media Corporation or the executive executive uh, Kingdom executive of Jesus Christ. Kingdom of Jesus Christ, yes. So I well, at first, like I said earlier, 2005, it was Kingdom of Jesus, right? And it was a non-stop. And then in 2006, we amend yes. the Kingdom of Jesus Christ to the executive pastor of Kingdom of, of Jesus Christ. By amending Article 1 and converting corporation to corporation soul, Mr. Chair. So, 2006, you became a corporation soul. Yes, Mr. Chair. And during this time, who is the executive pastor of uh, that corporation soul? Pastor Apollo Kibole, Mr. Chair. As an executive pastor in this corporation soul, by definition of the corporation code, he administers, manages as the trustee um, properties of the corporation, correct? Yes, Mr. Chair. As the trustee, Pastor Kiboloy had the power to manage the assets of the corporation, meaning he may buy, sell, encumber, lease properties, etc. for the corporation, right? But still, in compliance yes, with... Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, Mr. Chair. Attorney, klaro naman po ang, ano, it's answer first, yes or no, and if you would like to explain, you can explain. Yes, Mr. Chair, but can I explain, yes. Mr. Chair? Sure. Yes, of course, but there, po, there is a procedure, not just the pastor will decide, there is a body... Uh, to in respect to the process of changing or with respect to the decision of the church. Yes. So the answer is yes. Yes. The answer is yes. Siya pa rin ang yes. Pa rin kahit the procedure. Yes, please. Siya pa rin, right? please. Okay. Uh, so does he have the power to sell, manage, buy properties for beneficiaries? Uh, with, with respect to what year, Mr. Chair? With his power as the trustee, as the in executive year, pastor. In what year, Mr. Chair? Because the, 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 the executive pastor was already transferred to Marlon Acobo, Mr. Chair, in 2020. That's why I'm asking, what year, Mr. Chair? Before the transfer na lang. Sige. Before the transfer, yes, Mr. Chair. So you're saying Pastor Kibuloy, before that transfer, has control over the interest, over the properties of the corporation, thus controlling interest, right? He is the trustee, Mr. Chair. So subject to so the may controlling procedure, interest Mr. Chair. Ba, Mr. Chair, at, dahil siya yung nagmamanage at lahat. Klaro nang po natin sagot. Yes or no? Yes, Mr. Chair. With respect to the executive pastor of the Kingdom of Jesus Christ. Yes, okay. So you mentioned that there was a transfer of the executive pastor. Yes, in 2020, Mr. Chair. 2020? Yes. Are you sure? In the year 2020. My amended Yes, there's an amendment. Yes, Mr. Chair. 2020 by nakasulat dyan or 2022? Ang amended AOI nyo. Document. It says, I, I also have the document. Wait, and Migs, the committee has the document. Uh, Migs, um, can you please ascertain the date? 20 or is it really 2020? 2022. I think the committee has the AOI, Mr. Chair. Yes, okay. Of the amended AOI. Can you please reply? Attorney? attorney? Can you do the question, Mr. Chair? Is it 2020 or 2022? 2022 applied but approved in 2023. If 2020, you have a copy of, uh, repeat, you have the, you approved, have a, Mr. Chair. Applied Chairman. in 2022, approved in 2023. So, hindi 2020. Okay. Yes, Mr. Chair. Okay. Great. So, um, Mr. Chair, if I can just direct to the committee na lang, um, if you have the copy. 
Yes. Um, can you please read na lang, uh, if he can read, Mr. Chair, the amended articles of incorporation on when the date it was adopted. Why are you directing this to? To come to, uh, uh, Are you with me here, Mr. Chair? Okay. Yes. Can we, can you please, Mr. Chair? Adopted uh, on December 19, 2022. So 2022. Okay. And attached there um, is a transfer, uh, a certificate of appointment. Yes, Mr. That's Chair. Your, that's the basis, Mr. Chair, for the transfer of the new trustee. Yes, Mr. Chair. So, December 19, 2022, signed by Pastor Apollo Kiboloy, appointing Brother Marlon B. Acobo. So, now it's Brother Marlon Acobo who has the same powers previously of Pastor Kiboloy of yes, the by controlling succession. interest. Yes, yes, by succession, Mr. Chair. Let me direct you to Section 10 of your franchise. The grantee shall not sell, lease, transfer, grant the usufruct of, nor assign this franchise or the rights and privileges acquired thereunder. To any person, firm, company, corporation, or other commercial or legal entity, nor merge with any other corporation or entity, nor shall transfer the controlling interest of the grantee simultaneously or contemporaneously to any other person, firm, company, corporation, or entity without the prior approval of the Congress of the Philippines. Are you aware of this provision? Yes, Mr. Chair. Um, did you get the prior approval of Congress for this shift of controlling interest in 2022? Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, may I be allowed to answer that? Ah, so, okay, tag team, Donorable uh, Rolex. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, Section 10 give us three instances. The first one is not sell, not lease, not transfer, not grant, uh, the use of all, not assign this franchise. That's the first instance. Second instance is no merge. Third instance is uh, uh, not transfer controlling not, interest. Not transfer without controlling prior, interest. Yes. That's the that, third instance. Yes. Okay, and uh, all of this requires require the prior approval of Congress. Correct. Okay, yes, my so, question, Mr. So Chair, is, that has been cited. Question, so my, was it done? My question is, okay. so was so the the Would you want to answer that, Attorney Rollins? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Uh, was it, was a there yes a prior no, approval? It's a yes or no question, We have not Mr. Chair. sold the franchise. I'm sorry? It's a yes or no question if you no, got the prior approval. No, there is the lady to no. repeat the question. No, no, the, the, attorney. Um, the question was, um, was there, did you seek prior approval before you did all of this? Mr. So Chairman, yes. there are three instances here. That's why so, we have that sold. Uh, the size. Mr. Chair, no, 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 no. That's the That's the first instance, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chair, uh, wait, wait. Uh, Attorney Rolex, instances. Each are independent of each other. Question Did you, there was a change in controlling interest, which also requires you to seek the approval of Congress? Prior to the change. Did you do it? Yes or no? Mr. Chairman. Can I, can I, no, Mr. Mr. Chair, can I ask Mr. Chair, 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 Mr. Ch
it was Pastor Tibuloy who had the controlling interest. Then there was a change in 2022. It was by succession, Mr. Chair, because Pastor Tibuloy technically retires. He's already 73 years old. So I'm not asking about his retirement, only... Mr. Chair. It's the transfer of the controlling interest. Alam po ba kayo hindi? Ilan lang akong sagtatanong ni Kong Migs eh. Mr. Chair, kung hindi lang nila sasagutin, si Comsec na lang po. Kasi ito. Comsec, we can answer this. For our records, Comsec, since hindi ko masagot nung the Atoy Trentino, hindi ko masagot ng lead. Atoy Rolex, no, hindi ko masagot ng lead. Chairman, we have submitted our annual reports to Congress. Okay. And it's contained there. Did, you, did you ask for prior approval? Prior approval? No, no. Chairman, it's it's information. Mr. Chair. Please read the second sentence, Mr. Chairman, after that. Mr. Second Chair. Second sentence says, Mr. Chair. Attorney, Congress shall be informed. So ano pong sagot nyo? Yes, nagpaalam kayo. We inform Congress. But did you ask permission? No, we did not. We informed. Thank, Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Okay, come. Inform Congress. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. As far as the committee secretary record is concerned, there was no uh, prior, uh, uh, they did not seek for a prior approval of any transfer of their franchise. Thank so, you very much. Mr. Chairman, it's our position that uh, what we're talking here is not controlling interest unless we have a definition of what controlling interest is. By long line of cases, controlling interest is more than 50 percent. Thank you very much, Honorable Nogari still has a Thank floor. You, Silence is requested. Thank Mr. you, Mr. Chair. Um, again, may, may I remind this committee that I think we heard that uh, Attorney Mark Tolentino said that Pastor Kibuli had controlling interest and was transferred in 2022 to Brother Marlon Akobo. And again, if we look at section 10, on the first sentence, it uh, still needs the prior approval. Yung sinasabi ko earlier na may information, second sentence, hindi pa po tayo nasa second sentence, nasa first sentence pa lang ako, Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Mr. Chair, uh, floor the honor of yes. So we've Sorry, established that wala, wala pong prior approval, Mr. Well, Chair. Okay. So the next sentence naman sa section 10 Can is... Can I make any comment, Mr. Chair? No, you're not allowed. Please make Mr. the... Make the Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much. Mr. Chair, may remind Attorney Tolentino, nakita mo ba kami, tahimik kami na nakikinig dito? Di po ba? Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes. Makinig ka rin muna bago ka mag-raise na. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank oh. you. Thank you very much, the Honorable Akop. The Honorable Nogales. So now let's go to the second sentence in which uh, Attorney Suplico mm. was saying that you informed. Did you inform of this change? Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Chair, I'd like to explain, Mr. Chair, the kingdom of Jesus Christ is not just an ordinary no, no. Can you please, alam po ninyo, can you just please explain muna, yes or no, then explain your position. Yes, Mr. Chair. What? Yes, what? To what? That there is no prior approval. Okay. But, yes, but my, my next question, the, Mr. Chair, tapos question? Question? No, question there's was, no question. The Thanks. second sentence naman that they have their, they should report a, uh, a change also in controlling interest. It's in the okay. second sentence of Section 10. Okay. The Honorable uh, uh, Mr. Attorney Tolentino, yeah, please, okay. na po kayo. Mr. Chair, uh, nagtanong, nag-report po kayo. The yes, yes good, or no lang po, Mr. Chair. The good Congress, Congress woman says, Mr. Chair, about controlling interest. That's why, um, it may be allowed to explain to the Honorable Committee, Mr. Chair, what is the controlling interest in relation to Corporation Seoul? Because it is different to say controlling interest with respect to, uh, to an ordinary corporation compared to a Corporation Seoul, Mr. Chair. Okay. So, can you just reply first? Yes or no yes. to the question? First, tapos saka ko nyo kayo magpaliwanag kung anong kaibahan ng dalawang yan. The question raised by the Honorable Nogales, did you report? Yes, Mr. Chair. To whom? We do it annually. May we ask the Comsec if there's a report? Comsec, did they report it? Any change in the controlling interest? Did they, is there any change in the controlling interest? Mr. Chair, if we could direct, if we could ask Comsec kung meron. Yes. So, as far as, far as the Records of the committee secretary is concerned. There was no reporting as to the change of ownership. Okay. And might I, I just remind again, narinig po naman natin lahat sa committee, di ba? Sinabi naman po ni Attorney Mark na Pastor did have the control over the assets na pinasat. Wala silang um, prior approval, which is a violation of the first section of, uh, first sentence of section 10, and wala ring report. So it's a violation of the second Sentence also section 10. Correct, Mr. Chair. Oh, well, as for the concept, yes. You are correct. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, with all due respect, Mr. Chair, can I explain my answer, Mr. Chair? But, you know, can we go with the line may, of questioning? Can finish my question. Please explain. Mr. Later. Chair, point of order. Yes. Um, can, I, can we please remind the good uh, attorney, Mark, 
um, you know, I think the chair has been very lenient. And I think Congressman Akop has has called your attention many times. Uh, you've been, your light has been on throughout the whole hearing. So please give enough courtesy to the congressmen yes, sir, to, to, to state their, to give their statements. And wag kayong mag-alala. Bibigyan namin kayo ng pagkakataon. But please, wag niyong, wag kayong babatin habang nagsasalita at habang kinikilala yung oras ng isang kinatawan. May, may panahon din naman kayo at nakita niyo naman. Siguro kung bibilangin natin sa ratio at proportion, mas marami pa kayong oras Sabi. sa pagsasalita kaysa sa mga congressman. Kaya huwag kayong mag-alala. Magsasalita din kayo. Pagsalitay niyo na muna yung mga congressman. Yes. Can we, uh, let's apologize, Mr. Chair. Uh, the Honorable Nogari says the floor. Uh, please do not uh, cut in or uh, you just have to answer the question and we'll leave it at that for the moment. If you would like to explain later, then we will give you the chance before we end this uh, uh, hearing. The Honorable Nograles has the floor. Silence is requested. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, so I have, if I can show to the committee um, a pie chart of the structure of the um, video of uh, Suarezo. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So please, uh, there's a video. I, yeah. Can do that. Twenty twenty three, please. The next, yes. So it's so here in this pie chart you can see in the GIS of Suarezo that Executive Kingdom of Jesus um has fifty three about fifty three percent, which shows the majority of or control of Suarezo, correct, Mister Chair. Address to Attorney Tolentino. Ayan. Tagdasatana po kayo. Do you confirm this? Yes, Mr. Chair. Okay. So, dahil kanina, gusto mag-explain kasi ng controlling interest on Corporation Soul. Um, sige. Um, now I'm showing you, di ba? May, even if you're going to say na uh, may yung iba ang Corporation Soul, this controlling interest of Executive KOG is obviously has the controlling interest at nagkaroon ng switching internally. And did you still get the prior approval and report? Did you report it to Congress, Mr. Chair? Mr. Chair, yes or no? Uh, there is no provision in the franchise that requires reporting for the change of leadership in the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Mr. Chair, uh, controlling interest to... Attorney, hindi na ako natin pinag-usapan ng liderato. Tinanong natin, Pai Chair, do you confirm this? Na nagkaroon ho ng pagbabago? With respect to the leadership, Mr. Chair, but not the controlling interest. I think the committee yes. has heard that yes. we were talking about controlling interest and it was established earlier and the good attorney yes. has Can confirm confirmed. Naman yan. confirmed. The, okay. we, we can sustain Let's that. Let's not but, change but, words here. Huh? Don't put words into our mouths, please. Um, so if you look at the chart, there is this Phoebus Holdings that holds 46%. Yes, Mr. Chair. Hindi ko makita. Malayo kasi. Ayan, yung naka-orange naka po. Forty. Yeah. Okay. So this Phoebus Holdings, are you aware or or, or, or who owns Phoebus uh, Holdings, Mr. Chair? Phoebus Holdings, Mr. Mr. Chair, is a an investor of Suarezo Corporation, Mr. Chair. Uh, I have no personal knowledge, Mr. Chair. All you I have no personal is, knowledge. It is an investor of Suarezo Corporation, Mr. Chair. Okay. Sige. Because he has no knowledge, even if he's the legal counsel. Um, let can can we share the next slide, please? That shows the structure of Phoebus from the GIS, which is a public document. So 2022-2023, can you see the percentage of the executive pastor kingdom of Jesus' ownership on Phoebus? It says 97.16%. Correct. Yes, Mr. Chair. So let me read to you um, the Constitution naman po. On Article 16, Section 11 of the 1987 Constitution, which says, Congress shall regulate or prohibit monopolies in commercial mass media when public interest so requires. No combinations in restraint of trade or unfair competition shall be allowed. So let's go back to the pie chart, please, of the Executive of Suarezo on 2022. So, makikita po natin, Mr. Chair, that the executive pastor, the Kingdom of Jesus, where 
in 2022, the executive pastor was still um, the trustee and the one who has the controlling interest, right? Um, before the amendment, owns 53.46% of Suara So, correct? 53.46%, yes, yes. Mr. Chair. And Vibos Holdings? 46.22%. And Executive Pastor Kingdom of Jesus owns 97% of Vibos Holdings, correct? So essentially, with the two entities under Pastor Tibuloy, he holds 99.68%, basically making it a monopoly, correct? I cannot answer that, Mr. Chair. You cannot, Mr. Chair, abogado po ang kausap natin, Mr. Chair? Kayo po, kanyo lang. Marami ko yung site na, ano yun, hindi nyo na alam. I know, Mr. Chair. Ano po sagot nyo? I cannot see so that it's, it's, slide, Mr. Chair, is too far. Okay, let's let's just go numbers na lang, Mr. Chair. So you said earlier 53.46% ang executive pastor Kingdom of Jesus in 2022 when Pastor Kibule was still the executive pastor, correct? Yes, Mr. Chair. And Phoebus Holdings owns how much? Uh, ilang percent, Mr. Chair? 46.22%. As far as old, yes. And as we showed earlier, um, Executive Pastor Kingdom of Jesus owns 97% of Phoebus Holdings, correct? I have no documents with me, Mr. Chair, with respect to Phoebus, Mr. Chair. Okay. Well, GIS is a public document. That's why I was able to show the pie chart. Um, so the GIS will show that. Um, for the information of the good attorney. So yes, essentially, sir. with the numbers, if you add it, again, I will go, essentially, Pastor Tibuloy in 2022 holds 99.68% of the two entities, combining the two entities, correct? And not, Mr. Chair, uh, because the executive pastor of the Kingdom of Jesus Christ has a separate and separate and separate juridical personality than that of Pastor Apollo C. Tibuloy, Mr. Chair. Yes, I was saying 2022, which you said said earlier, Si Pastor Tibulo yung executive pastor pa nun, right? Yes, Mr. Chair. And so, corporation the... soul siya. Yes, Mr. Chair. Okay. And Pibos nga, 97% is owned by the executive pastor, Kingdom of Jesus. Correct? So, essentially, 99.68% ang ownership na to. And citing the Constitution again, pagdating sa commercial mass media, Bawal po ang mga monopolies or combinations of such because it's for unfair competition. Are you aware of this? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. But as what I said, Mr. Chair, the executive pastor of the Kingdom of Jesus Christ yes or no lang has a separate po. and personality than that of Pastor Kibole, Mr. Chair. Pwede Tolentino, marami pa ako kasi magtatanong. No? Pwede na po muna yes or no bago kayo magpaliwana kasi hindi nyo natutumbok eh. Pwede bang yes or no muna tayo, tsaka kayo magpaliwanag? Oh, yes, Mr. Kasi oh, wala akong mangyayari, mas magpaliwanag kayo, hindi namin ako kukuha yung sagot eh. Okay, Mr. Yes Chair. or no? So, essentially, Mr. Chair, with this constitutional provision and the numbers uh, mentioned earlier na ba at bawal din ang monopolies, violative sila not only of kanina, we established Section 10, but the highest law of the land, which is the Constitution. Correct, Mr. Chair? Attorney, yes, yes or Mr. No? Chair. So, Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair. What is your reply? Yes, though. Yes, thank you. Okay. Mr. Chair, can I just have a request? Uh, due to the enlightening uh, revelations of Congressman, Congresswoman Migs, pwede ba natin ibalik na yung ilaw? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mayroon pa po kasi akong papakita. Ata. Okay. Mayroon pa? Yes, just a short. Okay. Sige, proceed. Short. I'm almost done. Don't worry. Mamaya na yung let there be light. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Unless you want to see... By the way, Mr. Chair, uh, Attorney Migs is my co-host before. Uh, Pinoy Legal Times. Yes. Time. So, okay. He was also not giving me time to talk during that time. <laughs> For almost six months. So, so it's... Uh... And it's, he's doing it the same. And he's doing it again. Okay, so now, let, let, now let's go back to your franchise, diba? You have Section 11 now, which states that the grantee shall offer to Filipino citizens at least 30% of its outstanding stock or a higher percentage thereof that may hereafter be provided by law, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that my 30% offer to um, Filipino citizens, to the public, correct? Mr. Yes, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. And we've already established that Suarezog essentially is a monopoly own na 99.68%. Correct. So malayo to sa 30% na mandato to offer to the public under Section 11, Mr. Chair. Correct? Yes, Mr. Chair, but I have a letter yes here. Yes or no lang? Yes, Mr. Chair. So yes, there is a violation. Uh, there's no violation, Mr. Chair. Kanina tinanong ko yung 30%.
mag-add nga po tayo, 99. Diba hanggang 100 po tayo, Mr. Chair? Tapos 30%. 130%? Hindi. 99.68% na ang mono monopolized na nga ng executive kingdom. Meron sila under section 11 na mandato na 30% of their stock should be offered to the public. Has this been complied with? Yes, Mr. Chair. We have here, Mr. Chair, a letter dated June 30, 2022 to SEC and to the House of Representatives, Mr. Chair. Uh, informing the, the the House, Mr. Chair, about 30% share offered to to a cooperative, Mr. Chair. May we have a copy of that? Yes, Mr. Yeah. Chair. Yeah, okay. but yung, yung offer offered June 30, 2022, Mr. Chair. Okay. okay. Um, Can you... Sige, with math na lang, Mr. Chair. Di ba kanina, establish po natin 99.68 nga. So malamang hindi pasok ang 30%. Pero with that argument, sige, let's go to the pie chart with the cooperative na sinabi po. Um, which cooperative is this, Mr. Chair? Cooperativa. Attorney, anong pangalan ng cooperativa? The name? Ano pangalan? Uh, Jesus Christ Workers Members Cooperative, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much. Let me show lang yung sa Suarez Oak. Uh, I think, second slide, yes. You will see that 0.16% ang Jesus Christ Cooperative. It's not even 1%. And I think 1% is different from 30%. Correct, Mr. Mr. Chair. Mr. Mr. Chair, we are waiting for the response of the House, Mr. Chair, of that letter. So, may, may obligasyon pala. <laughs> Kayo po yung may obligasyon, Mr. Chair. Oh, Kasi po yung may obligasyon mag-report sa atin. Bakit po tayo ang mag-report? We... We are just... We are informing the, the House, Mr. Chair, about the... Uh, about the cooperative that we transferred certain share to the cooperative, Mr. Chair, the Jesus Christ Workers Members Cooperative, Mr. Chair. Yes, so that is the only cooperative which... So your annual report. Yes, Mr. Chair. What reply are you expecting from the committee or from Congress? Uh, you mentioned that you are re re requiring, that's why you have not complied with, because you are requiring for, for, for a response when this is just part of your annual report. May I be you allowed attached to speak? It, one of your attachments, yes. The Honorable... No, no, Mr. Chair, I'm going to plead. Attorney Suplico. I am sorry. Yes. <laughs> Attorney Suplico, of course. Who doesn't know you? <laughs> Elementary nga po, nababasa na kate. Mr. Right. Chair, we have a letter. And we made a study of other franchises with different uh, provisions. Some of them refer to uh, cooperatives. So we are asking uh, con uh, Congress, and in particular, the, the uh, uh, Committee on Initiative Franchises, if this will uh, comply with that particular provision before we go ahead and implement it. Okay. Um... Mr. Mr. Chair, yes, that was, is this the 2020, 2023 report that you sent on the basis of your encouraging public participation? Uh, Mr. Chair, we compared the same provisions, which are different, differently worded in other franchises. Okay. So we this, thought we're going okay. to ask Congress, and in particular this committee, if we can be given a go ahead. Mr. Chair, I believe um, we have a copy of that. Clear. I'm reading this letter that you claim you submitted. It's entitled Report on the Dispersal of Ownership, which is part of the uh, annual information sheet that you gave. There is no question. You are just stating a position. There is no question, Attorney Sufigo. Unless, uh, uh, there are two There's lawyers. No and uh, there was no question. You just stated your position of what you were going to do. Yes. But, uh, or what you were planning to do. But, uh, like uh, the telecast where you claim that there was, you're asking a question, but there's nobody answering. There's, there's no chance to answer. Ito ganda rin ho yan eh, kasi wala naman ho kayo tinatanong eh. You didn't even, there's no even, wala namang question mark, wala namang kayo maybe respectfully request for your opinion, wala pong ganyan. You just stated the position. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Taro po tayo ha. Thank yes. you po. Thank you, the Honorable Nagrades. Please uh, proceed. Okay. So I think that says 2023 report. So report nga, di ba? And they... Correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Chair, since you have a copy and I'm sure they know because they reported it. They were basing, and Attorney Tolentino said that they were basing it from other franchises. That's why naglagay sila ng cooperative. Correct? Yes, Mr. Chair. That's based on the, our body of the yes. letter. Okay. And this, the franchise, this RA11422, have any wording of 
these establish establishments of cooperatives and other methods of encouraging public participation? Mr. Chair. None, Mr. Chair. None, Mr. Chair. Okay. Yeah. None. So, violation na rin po yun kasi naglagay sila ng cooperatives na hindi naman nasa prakisa po nala, Mr. Chair. So, earlier, there's a violation of the Constitution that we've established, monopolized. Um, hindi pa nila na gawa yung 30% public offering which is a violation of their like, Section 11. Um, and even if you will say may cooperative dyan, it's only 0.16%, which is far from the 30% mandate under Section 11 in their franchise, which is a violation also, Mr. Chair, correct? Anything else, Honorable Lugano? Yes, I would just like to add also, even if you will state your equality clause with when I read your report in 2023, you still need the prior approval of Congress. Kung sa site niyo rin yung different franchise na pwede yung kooperatiba. But you also stated there in your 2023 report, you already completed the implementation of program of the dispersal of ownership. Meaning you still did not acquire the prior approval of Congress, correct? Mr. Chair. Is that a question? Address to? Who, whoever. Attorney the, Tontino or lawyer. Attorney lawyer. Rolex. Thank you, Mr. Chair. If I may. With due respect to the lady, we did not acquire because we feel that what was transferred is not controlling interest. I'm sorry, we're talking about the report already on your cooperative. We're not, we're done with the controlling interest, I believe so. We're talking of the cooperative spot. The okay. 2023 report that you sent with the basis of why you're including cooperatives and on your dispersal on Section 11 to comply with Section 11. May Section 14 then po kasi sa prangkisa nyo that if you're going to say no na because your basis was may mga ibang mga prangkisa na pinapayagan ng cooperatives at kung ilalagay mo naman na may equality clause kayo sa Section 14, kailangan nyo pa rin ng prior approval from Congress. Eh naglagay nga kayo ng kooperatiba na hindi nakalagay sa prangkisa nyo, hindi pa rin kayo nag-acquire ng prior approval. Tama po ba, Mr. Chair? Yes or no? <laughs> May I be allowed to explain? No. No, yun. No, yun, Mr. Chairman. Because we wanted to know, Mr. Chairman, it's the position of my client that we wanted to know whether we can also avail of cooperatives. That provision is not found in our franchise, but it's found in the franchises of other, but it's found in the franchises of other entities. Yes, so, and Mr. Chair, I think we established they did not ask us any question anyway. They mm -hmm. just reported. Correct. And might I direct you to that? You read your report, you already said, you already completed the implementation of the program of the dispersal of ownership. Na naglagay kayo ng cooperative to. Na wala na nga dun sa prangkisa nyo. Nag-implement na kayo, no? Kayo sure. na wala rin approval ng Congress. Correct? Uh, Mr. Chair. Attorney, yes. Obviously, Attorney Rolex. Ano po Mr. Chairman, ito? reading the equality clause on Section 14. Yun nga po. Kaya nga, inunahan ko na po. Kasi alam ko, lalagay na niya yung Section 14. Kailangan pa rin po ng prior approval. That is why we wrote a letter to this house, uh, that Mr. Was, Chairman. Mr. Chair, what? Mr. You know, the, uh, when, you know, attorney, yes, you did. You wrote us a, uh, you were, you wrote us a report. You were stating a, you were not, you were informing us. You were not asking us any question that solicited a, that needed a reply from the committee. Or, so, you, you know, if you keep on going back to that, yeah. very clear naman po, attorney, and you acknowledged that earlier, no? Ito, ini-inform you lang kami. At wala naman po kayong katanungan. Mr. We, Chair, Mr. Chair, uh, we acted in good faith, Mr. Chair. We wrote a letter to the House, Mr. Okay. Chair. Mr. Again, Chair. alam po ninyo. Let me hang on the wall. You have to prove that. And I am of the belief that you keep on citing this letter. And this letter has no question, does not require, does not uh, uh, require a reply uh, from us. Because if there was at least a question, then we could have at least uh, answered you. But wala ko kayo tinanong eh. So paano ko kayo, how can you pass it on to the House or to, to, to the committee? Wala naman kayo tinatanong. 
that that letter message here proves that we have no intention to not to comply all the conditions requirements in our plan site. Oh, well, chair. I think okay. no, Mr. Chair, oh, he stated the fact. Because again, you know, if you go with a good faith, I remember the former Solicitor General Frank Chavez when he told me, "Good faith is has to be proven." Thank you very much, the Honorable Ano Graves. Okay, Mr. Chair, since sinasabi na lang letter, uh, does the good attorney have a copy of the April 30, 2023 letter? So good letter, Mr. Chair. April. June. April. April 30. May do that letter all about, Mr. Chair? May dalawa actually. May do what letter is not all. Yun yung nagsabi letter, may yung host letter. June. That's June 2022, Mr. Chair. May April then. Whatever it is. Okay, April or June, sure. Uh, let's look at your April 30, 2023. Do you have a copy of that? This is what I have is June 30, huh? Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. It's a June 2022 letter, Mr. Chair. Huh? Is there? So, hold on. June 30 po itong hawak po namin, huh? Yung Mr. Yung Mr. Chair, ano? Ah, the annual report pala. Their, yes. their annual report. Okay, sorry. The, do you have a copy of your annual report? Of April. On April 30, 2023. Which is the basis of what you're saying on the Section 14 and the cooperatives whatsoever on the dispersal of ownership. Meron po bang kopya, Mr. Chair? Or if... I can, I can, I can. I have a copy. I no. can read. Meron mo ba kayong uh, ipipresent? Um, I think the good uh, congresswoman has a copy. Yes, I do have a copy of it. Okay. Um, so it says here for the... Hindi ko mapapakita na sa iPad ko po. But hindi siya letter. It says report on dispersal of ownership. Yes. Right. With, that's the April or June, whatever that is. So yung itong report nila... Like I'm saying, that they'll bring up ang um, Section 14 po, di ba? Kailangan pa rin ng prior approval. And wala naman pong nakasulat sa prangkisa nila na pwede silang maglagay ng establishment of cooperatives even if you're using another franchise, another law. As attorneys, I believe you know what's excluded. It's not included in the law, right, Mr. Chair? So since explicit... Ex, ano po yun? Ang Latin po nun? Ayun. Gen Z po ako, hindi ko na alam po yung mga terms na <laughs> Joke lang. Yes, I'm sure you. <laughs> what has been in excluded are not included. Yes. So, yes. and again, we've established earlier you don't have that cooperatives being able to be part of your dispersal ownership, 30%, whatever, uh, section or section 11, correct? As what I've said, Mr. Chair. Uh, yes, sir. No, no, Mr. Chair. Okay. And you brought up um, Mr. Chair, Attorney Rolex, yes, brought up the equality clause, right, to defend this, kaya yung ginawa. Correct, Mr. Chair? Well, we wanted to know whether we can be given a green light to implement the same. Okay, sige. But, kasi we're just gonna keep going around, around in circles. It says here in the last sentence, currently... A cooperative is already a stockholder of the company, which is an alternative mode of encouraging public ownership as ex expressly recognized by this Honorable Congress in other franchises. Again, gumawa na kayo ng kooperatiba, gumawa na sila, pinasok nyo na yung stock, sila as a stockholder without prior approval, and ang ginamit nyo ang prangkisa ng ibang mga may franchise, not yours. Correct? Mr. Chief, second yes no? uh, I, I'm looking at the records. Yes, the Honorable Rolex. Attorney Supli, your honor. Yes, please. What is your okay. what do you have to say? The, That's the last paragraph. The good Congress one was referring to Section 11. Reading Section 11 of RA 11422, there is no timeline stipulated in the said provision. The mere fact that we have already put in place the mechanism and we are just awaiting a uh, response from this Honorable Committee, then does that mean that we have violated yes. the law itself? Uh, Mr. Process? Chair. Thank you very uh, we're much. We're going uh, in circles. Okay, so I think uh, we've uh, discussed that over and yes. over again. Yes. And uh, we've already, again, the committee and even the Comsec maintains that uh, there was no question. You were not actually saying anything. You were just stating a fact. 
And I think what the uh, Honorable Lugar is saying is it has not been complied with. But we are, with willing, the to, we are willing to comply, Mr. Chair. Although, since there's no timeline, when are we going to comply? We can comply at any time, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, when we grant a franchise to a grantee, aren't they mandated to comply? Yes. At all the time? Yes. All the time? Immediately? Yes. Not for them, for us to wait for them or be given time to comply? Please, Correct, I think Mr. Chair. The Tell me if there's no timeline. So you're trying to tell me now that when you go in, tapos, tapos talagin nyo lang later on. Not, not any time. Right not any time, Mr. Chair. Wala naman timeline. Not any time, Mr. Chair. We are willing to comply at any time as soon as possible, okay. Mr. Chair. Okay. Let me, Mr. Chair, again, with that argument, kabalik tayo. You so are willing to comply. Why do it? We are willing to do it, Mr. Chair. That's why, why you do it? Because we are waiting for the reply. Because under Section 14, Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, we'll we'll here. let me simplify okay. it na lang, Mr. Okay, Chair. Sige, salamat po, Attorney Tarantino. Okay. Kasi, simplify. alam mo, paikot-ikot lang po tayo. Obviously, na wala naman kayo tinatanong. All of us sa atin, you're willing to comply. Pero pag tinanong sa inyo, bakit hindi ko comply? Babato nyo naman yung letter na wala naman kayo tinatanong. So, paikot-ikot lang po tayo. Mm -hmm. yes. Mr. Chair, yes. to, to end lang, para matapos na yung paikot-ikot, kasi sumasakit na rin yung ulo ko. Oh. Um, I will repeat the last sentence. Even if you tell this committee um, that you are willing to comply, hindi na nga kayo nagtanong, ang nakasulat sa last sentence, currently, a cooperative is already a stockholder of the company which is an alternative mode of encouraging public ownership as expressly recognized by this Honorable Congress in other franchises. So gumawa na kayo, ginawa nyo na, so, wala, hindi nila rin kailangan ng timeline, di ba, Mr. Chair? Kasi ginawa na rin nila at hindi naman sila willing to comply dahil ginawa naman po na na, na walang approval ng Congress. At ang basehan nila ay ibang prangkisa. Tama po, Mr. Chair? I think I simplified that yes, already. That's Tama po. Clear. Thank you very okay. much. Um, I will yes. end that. And if you have a second round, we're yes, going I will, to open for second yes, round.